Everyone, welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Happy Saturday. Hope all is well with you. This is Dr. Obam Bowen, and I am back today to remind you that it's still 2021, the year of the one thing. And today we're going to be talking about the one thing that I decided to make my one thing this year, and that one thing is growth. You know, what's your one thing? Type down below in the comments what your one thing is, because today's topic is going to be very, very important for you to understand, which is going to help you, you know, to get over your current um, plateau in, in, in life or in business. And growth is the one thing that does that. So if you know what your one thing is, type below what your one thing is. But before I jump into it, what really is growth? I'm going to give you my definition of growth, right? So growth is the thing that you do consistently that requires you to get out of your current comfort zone because if you don't choose to grow you're choosing comfort which is apathy living a life of apathy and that's not okay see i'll tell you what the what, what apathy is in the end before we go but let's jump into today's topic because it's a good one today we're going to be talking about the seven ways to get out of your own way in a sense to get out of your plateau so the first and most important thing hey bill welcome good to see you happy saturday man thank you so much for participating and joining in if you if you get some value here just drop a one appreciate you so number one let's talk about the first one right i call it business ping pong right stop playing business ping pong most most small businesses or entrepreneurs, especially for myself, in the beginning, I'm speaking to self here to be able to help you overall because I can only tell you from my own experience. I can't tell you from this big, gigantic galaxy of things that, that I believe, only from my experience, right? So, hey, Marjan, thank you so much. Appreciate you. Welcome. So, number one, stop playing business ping pong. What is business ping pong? Here's what business ping pong is, what I used to do, and I see people doing it now, and I understand. It's like, oh, my gosh, it's going back and forth. In making a decision to move forward in your business. So, for example, here's business ping pong. Number one, an expert has what you need. So, for example, the expert, maybe they're running an ad on um, Facebook or you probably know the person yourself, right? And you see they have the answer to your problem, right? The answer to your question, the pleasure to your pain. And you reach out to them and they say, well, oh, yes, I can help you. It costs this much. And you're like, well, I don't know. Balls back in your court. And then you come back again later when it's two months, two years, three. Same thing. You keep running into the same wall. Keep playing ping pong. They put it back in your court. You want help is going to cost you this much. Uh, I don't know. It's the same thing. If you want to have in relationships, you want to have a, a, a man or a woman that's going to stay with you for a very long time. Well, marry them, right? Some people play around and they don't, but that's okay. Hi, Veronique. Welcome. Thank you so much. So that's number one. Stop playing business ping pong. Then you won't have yo that yo-yo effect going on in your business. So this is one of the most important things that will get you out of that plateau state, right? So number two Daddy? is invest in you. Yes, sweetheart. You want to go, you want to go. No, I, no, Daddy's working. Look, see, so you can see, say hi, say hello. Great. You 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 trying to show daddy if daddy wants fruit too? No, but daddy take a bite of yours. Mm. Dragon fruit, yummy. Mm -hmm. Love kisses. Mm -hmm. Right. So, thank you so much. Hi, Michelle. Hey, Sandra. Welcome. Hi, Veronique. Right. So, bless you, sweetheart. So, it's important to understand you know, invest in you. See, if you don't grow, your business doesn't grow. So, if your business isn't growing, you are not growing. Don't just invest in yourself also, but when you invest in yourself, what do you invest in for yourself as a business owner, as an entrepreneur? You invest in being able to grow your mind, grow not only just emotionally, philosophically, personally. Take a few business courses, take a few business classes. Heck, get on a few free Zooms or master classes, whatever somebody's doing that can help you grow yourself. Because the more you grow, the better opportunities present themselves to you because you have a higher awareness. The, the third, number three, is invest in your business. Your business is the thing that is going to bring in the funds for your life, that's going to bring in the change. So if you stop playing business ping pong, you invest in yourself, then invest in your business is important. That ties into number four. Number four, really, the number one skill an entrepreneur needs to have, truly, is the one to just like, listen, I my wallet always stay right here on my desk. Why? Is to pick up your wallet, go inside of it, take out your credit card sometimes and purchase. Okay? Take out your credit card and purchase. Because is it why is it important? Because listen, what you do, Facebook programs the algorithm towards your scrolling habits. And some of the courses and things that I buy, they all find like, oh, he just bought that, they'll suggest it and keep sending it to me. So if I knew that in sense, I'm programming Facebook to bring the things to me that I need to grow myself. 
and that I need to grow my business. That is just smart marketing on Facebook's behalf. I get it. It's also smart marketing on my behalf, so I don't have to keep going searching because the things that I bought, I'll tell you just within from last month to now, I bought 17 programs from folks who are doing business online. Why? Because I'm doing business online too. And the thing is, sometimes I know my business is better than theirs, my model is better than theirs, my products are better, but here's the deal. I'm buying it because I'm looking to see what my competition is doing. I'm looking to see what they're doing and having the conversions. Sometimes I'm looking just to earn, learn one thing that they're doing. So when you take the first step and you stop ping-ponging, you invest in you, you invest in your business, and you start practicing the number one skill you need to have, which is investing in all of those, reach into your wallet and, and, and invest the money. It's not spending. It's investing because if anything you kick out money to that's going to give you a return, then that's all going to help you in your plateau. Let's talk about number five because it's important to get this. Stop feeling sorry for yourself. I'm not even going to go into that one. I I'm really not. Just stop feeling sorry for yourself. Don't pick a pity party. Nobody comes to your pity party anyways. If you have your problems, trust me, if you have your problems, you go out to a store, a mall, or somebody's house, put your problems in your, the trunk of your car, leave your trunk open, nobody's going to steal it. Trust me. So stop feeling sorry for yourself. Number six, find a mentor. Hmm. What mentor? Somebody who's kind of been there, done that, got the t-shirts, maybe create the t-shirt and sell the t-shirts, <laughs> right? In the vernacular or in the category, the business that you are. Thank you so much, Sandra. Thank you too, Marjan. Appreciate you, right? You're, and you say your goal this year is personal growth. Awesome. I love it. Enter, grow your business. Your business can grow. So here's number seven. So let's go back through number one. Stop playing business ping pong. Invest in yourself, number two. Invest in your business, number three. And use the number one skill you need as an entrepreneur. Always keep your watch. Some people are trying to just know. I look, Facebook loves me because every time something is close to me, I buy stuff that the other day, Afia, my business partner, had to remind me, like, bro, we already have that. Oh, okay, great. It was just they marketed it with a different ad. <laughs> <laughs> and I purchased it because I'm in. I'm a habitual buyer. I'm an ideal client. And the deal is, if I know this is going to help me, I buy my competitors' products so I can learn their products and, and sequences and processes so that I can do a much better job and deliver more value for my client. I can wow my clients because I want lifetime clients. I don't want somebody just to come and buy something once from me. I want raving fans. And the way to do this, I continue to grow myself in my business. But now... I have a repertoire. If my cut, my 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 competition has a business that's similar to mine, I have a repertoire of what's going on, and I know what the competition is, and I know what my clients are gonna get across the street that I can offer them better. And I don't just say, well, I think, no, I know for sure because look, I have their program and I can tell you what they're saying they're offering is what I'm delivering, but you're not getting that, right? So you have to be able to do that. So thank you guys so much for the love. Hey, Melissa, welcome. Good to see you, my dear friend. And here's the deal. Get your daily rituals tap dialed into. That is number seven. So when you when, think about it this way, when you get daily rituals are, are very, very important. Success is found in your daily routine. The things that you do day in, day out becomes your habits, your attitudes, how you do that. Good evening to you too, Josie. Good evening, Joey. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Mispronounce your name. My bad. <laughs> but your rituals are very key and important. So number one, stop playing business ping pong. It's not good for you. Number two, invest in you. It's important. Number three, invest in your business. Most importantly, number four, learn the skill of being able to pick up your wallet, reach in, take out your credit card, and invest. Just saying. Number five, stop feeling sorry for yourself because whatever you're doing, if it's not working, just change it. Take these seven habits, implement them, and watch your business grow. Watch your life change this year. Watch your income reflect because that turns into something important. Number six and number seven, finding the right mentor and number seven, getting your daily rituals, okay? Whatever you do day in and day out, sorry y'all, Google Assistant, let me not say the name, just jump up to stop my Zoom. Anyways, but those are the seven things that's gonna help you, those are proven ways and methods that I do every single time. Hey Lily, welcome to move me from one plateau to another. You know, I, I, I've launched um, the, the, the new business this year, it's not really a new business. I just kind of relaunched it to help folks with doing it in public. I was really sharing it for private clients the last few years, but I've decided to go and become the underdog myself all over again, and that's what I'm teaching. In fact, today, for those of you who are interested, if you're interested, drop a two in the comment. Two in the comment, here's what I'm gonna ask if you're interested. I'm not gonna sell anything. I'm doing a masterclass 
on earning a seven or preparing and earning a seven figure business and income. I'm doing a seven figure masterclass. What I actually did all of last year and this year, what I've done all my life in business, what I do, how I prepare, what I show you some stuff behind the scenes. I'm not selling it. I'm just going to share it with you all because too many people, especially now with the world changing, don't have what it takes to create the income in life that they need. I'm going to give a masterclass today on a private Zoom. If you want to type two in the comments or just type Zoom and I'll, I'll get you the link so you can join in. I'm doing that at 7 p.m. tonight, right? 7 p.m. Eastern, that is, by the way. So comment two below. Or thank you so much, Marjan. Thank, comment two below or Zoom and I'll get you the link so you can join. It's going to be a phenomenal uh, class. I'm going to show you exactly what uh, I, I do walk the talk, Okay. A leader, a true leader, will never tell or teach unless they practice what they preach. I'm going to show and demonstrate to you all what I've done, what I'm keep doing. And this is why we had an amazing month, starting an entirely new business to almost $50,000 in sale. And the month still even isn't even over yet, and we're still crushing it. So with that, take care. God bless. I'll see you tomorrow with another topic of growth. I did promise before I go that I will share with you that apathy is a natural human instinct. It is common to us all. It consistently forces us to seek a comfort zone where nothing ever changes. Don't be the person that listens and hears and see every day I'm pouring my heart out and giving value. Don't be the person that gets the value and say, well, I don't know, he's probably gonna, that's why I made it specific and says, listen, I'm not, I'm not gonna sell anything today. I'm just gonna teach, give a straight masterclass of pure value for you to see what you need to do to help get you, your life and your business on the right track for 2021. 21 is the year of the one thing. And the one thing I chose this year is growth. I want to be able to help you grow because I chose to grow myself, my relationship, my health, and my business. And I'm specifically delivering the message of hope and growth this year from business for you. So take care. God bless. And I'll see you tomorrow with another message of growth. Bye for now, y'all.